Hey folks, coming at you with a special one here. Well, today's special, one, so that's what makes it special. So, technically, it's not really a special video, it's just a day special for me. And what am I going to be doing? Reviewing a plant. I'm reviewing a drink. Now, the drink. I brought it back from the States once. It'll be my first time ever with it. And I never get to have it again after today. And I hardly know anything about it on the computer. Except it's supposed to be like orange flavored and it's not that good. So that's why I'm going to match it up for an extra buzz. And not have too many different flavors going on. This one right here. True Blunt's Classic Citrus Orange. Close as I could get to a straight up just orange blunt that I could find. And what am I about to drink for you guys? It's one of those alcoholic energy drinks. Well, I don't want to fuck the blunt up, right? And, um, all I can say for you guys is let's get this shit going. Huh, I need somewhere good for the camera to fucking... There we go. Okay, hey folks. So a Citrus Blunt True Blunt Classic. Right here, kind of rolled it fucked up, but it's, the sides have been pinched and packed and ready to go. It's got the sour diesel on it, and then just a tiny little pinch of what I think is something from that, from some past mix I was given called outdoor mix or some shit so there's a tiny little bit of two strains in there mainly the one and whoa, what is this that I brought back from the states that if I like I may never get to have again contains alcohol you must be 21 to purchase max fur furry or furry whatever the fuck flavored malt beverage with natural flavors caffeine ginseng tantarine tarine and FDNC yellow number six and five it's in these 23.5 ounce cans, which compared to a can that will actually say 24 ounces on it, it's the same size, just these cans are a little fatter and slash wider. Um, it comes from the Max Beverage Company in La Crosse, Wisconsin. So you see out in your La Crosse, Wisconsin, you guys got some crazy drinks and you guys got some amazing drinks. Because so I'll tell you, we don't get the beautiful, wonderful malt liquor, Colt 45. We get the strong beer version at 7%. Comes from across Wisconsin, same with those Bull Maxes and so on and so forth. So all I know is they pretty much quickly put these out. Some people are saying, I haven't found much about it on the computer, except the people that have talked about it on the computer say it's not all that good and it's supposed to be orange flavored. And I wish I could get things like this where I live. So you guys want to see me do a lot of these, would you please mail them out to me and I'll review them and show you guys out. So. Without further ado, let's get this show running. It looks clear with like an orange, yeah, it looks orange colored. Whoa! That's strong orange flavor. Oh, this is going to be brutal and it's fucking cold on my hand. Oh. 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 Oh, fuck, dude. I think I also read that the juice company put them out. And all I can say is I tried two or three of the juice flavors back in like last year or something like that. And if I remember correctly, I think I found them fucking rough and disgusting tasting. Those ones are 9.9 .9 with the caffeine shit and the energy drink ingredients. Yeah, I've never been able to find all the four locals in the States to try out. But some are so so. One or two flavors I've had were decent and then some are just total terrible this is strange huh <laughs> fucking strange <coughs> okay drinking some orange fucking soda pop that's weak on the orange flavor just a tiny little almost like you add some water to it or something and try and die the taste down a little and then it's got some I don't know fucking weirdness to it fire in the hole I 
I noticed there's other ones like Max Live or some shit. I definitely would try those out, but I've never seen them before. I just don't need Max Pack I've ever found in the States. <laughs> I mean, if, it, if they had the Max drink here, I might drink it again maybe one or two more times, but it's not something I think, oh shit, I'm going to miss out on, you know? Definitely gonna take my time with this drink. Cause drinks like this, 12% flavored malt liquor, caffeine, fuck me up big time. Y'all yeah, see when I get to try them out when I find them in the states. So this might be my only one I'll ever find. Who knows? <coughs> so it's not complete shit, but you know, if someone said you can have this or say fruit punch for a local, I'd go for fruit punch for a local instead. You know. So the drink's gonna get <coughs> out of a five probably at two, two point five at the most. Cause it's not complete shit, but it could be better. Like I kinda wish the orange was there a little more than it is. And this little weird taste that is there wasn't. And then this citrus blunt. Well I mean the sour diesel and the tiny little bit of some outdoor shit. As far as I remember from what that strain was. Uh, it's getting me high, and that's good, and it's blunt. I don't know if I find it super strong on orange. I think the citrus might be showing up in this blunt a bit more. Because it smells a little different than orange, too. So, I'm going to like that I'm going to be high and drunk and shit, but this might only get maybe like a 2.5 as well. It's an, Like, it's not horrible, but it doesn't taste 100% like it's supposed to be having orange to it. So, it fails a little bit on its name, I think. Maybe you don't if you had it. <coughs> no fly, no alcohol for you. So, some 12% orange flavored malt liquor, energy drink style from the States. Maybe the only one I've ever found. I might be the only one I ever get to have of any Max, unless you guys mail me any. Like, the drink gets a 2, and I guess the blood gets a 2 as well. Because, if I didn't know it had anything to do with orange disc blunt, I probably wouldn't know. But since I bought it and rolled it, I know. So, we'll get a 2 out of 5. Uh, a little rating, but... That's what my taste buds want to say. Ah. Not as disgusting tasting as the blue raspberry for loco. <laughs> I don't know. Best kind of review I can give you guys. So, time to write low. Drinking Max Fury. Smoking citrus blunt. Peace out. Bye.